Now we will discuss about kidney part 2. In this part, first of all, we will discuss about the covering of the kidney, that is capsule of the kidney. If you cut a transverse section which passes through the level of the kidney, you will find here is This is lumbar vertebra. Here is portion of erector spiny muscle. So, erector spiny muscle lies here. This is erector spiny muscle. covered by fascia. This is position of the skin. This is superficial fascia, deep fascia. And here is position of this is latissimus dorsi muscle, latissimus dorsi muscle, latissimus dorsi, and and the muscle also attached here. That is serratus posterior inferior. This is serratus posterior inferior. And this muscle is covered by here. This is fascia. This is thoracolumbar fascia. This fascia is thoracolumbar fascia. So here like thoracolumbar fascia, this is erector spiny muscle. Here is another muscle. This is swas major. Swas major. This is swas major muscle. So it lies here, swas major muscle. So this muscle is swas major. And the muscle which lies here, this is quadratus lumborum. This muscle is this is quadratus lumborum. So here lies erector spiny, swas major and quantus lumborum. Here is posterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. This is anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. Here is middle layer of thoracolumbar fascia. So this is middle layer of thoracolumbar fascia. So this is anterior, this is middle, and this is posterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. So here is position of kidney. This is position of the kidney. It has anterior surface, posterior surface, lateral border, and medial border. Here is medial border. We have already seen here. This is inferior vena cava. This is renal vein. Here is abdominal aorta, this is a renal artery, and here is renal pelvis. So, renal pelvis. So, from anterior to posterior side, the three structures present in hilum renal vein, renal artery, and renal pelvis. And another important thing cap is covering, covering up. This is covered by a thin layer of capsule. This is covering of this. This thin layer of the capsule is firmly adherent to this. This is capsule of the kidney. So this is thin layer of the capsule which is firmly adherent to kidney. Surface of the kidney. And another thing, 
there is पेवी विनर हेर इज पेवी विनर सो दिस इज इट इज कवर्ड बाय पेवी विनर फैट दिस इज पेवी विनर फैट दिस इज पेवी विनर फैट एंड देयर इज कवरिंग व्हिच कवर्स दिस फैट this is the fascia this fascia is known as this is fascia gerota fascia gerota and this posterior layer here this is anterior fascia this is known as fascia jugocondylar this fascia is known as fascia Juker can so two fascia fascia gerota and fascia juker can anterior fascia is fascia gerota posterior there is fascia juker can and lately these two fascia turn join and it forms the it become continuous with here is position of colon so this is this is this is position of the colon and this fascia is known as colon fascia this fascia is known as colon fascia so it become continuous with colon fascia here is on right side there is ascending colon on that side there is descending colon so this is colon fascia through it it continue and and the here is position of para renal fat this para renal fat forms a cushion it forms a cushion on which this kidney rests this is para renal fat it was peri renal fat and this is para renal fat so these are the coverings of the capsule and other covering of the kidney now another important thing exposure of the kidney so before exposure we make another diagram if you see in a vertical direction here this is kidney and here is portion of the this is twelfth so this is twelfth rib this is twelfth rib this is eleventh rib here is eleventh rib here is diaphragm this is diaphragm so here is diaphragmic fascia this continues with the posterior renal fascia here and here is Anterior layer is continuous with the anterior fascia. Anterior layer is the anterior layer is fascia gerota. Posterior layer is fascia jugocondylar. Here one important thing. Here is supraluminal gland. This supraluminal gland is separated by another fascia septum. So this is supraluminal gland. It is separated by septum. the fascia now very important thing exposure of kidney from back side so you have seen here this is back side and here you can see this is this is kidney and if you want to approach to this kidney first of all you cut here the skin superficial fascia then these muscles then this layer thoracic lumbar fascia posterior layer then retract this muscle 
towards medial side then cut this middle layer then reflect this muscle towards the lateral side and then cut to anterior layer and remove fat and ultimately reach up to the kidney so this is approach from behind from the back side by cutting the structure you can easily approach to the kidney so this is part 2